Mike the Truth Jackson back with another edition of Fighters Talk. And today I'm at Gracie Baja Webster, a uh, little bit outside of Houston. But today I'm joined by UFC strawweight Juliana Lima. And how you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I'm excited to fight with Carlos Paz. Yeah, well, before that, you were originally set to fight Jessica Aguilar, um, but she had to pull out not too long ago with a torn ACL. Um, for you, do you uh, train specifically for fighters, or you just train overall everything, every aspect of the game for yourself? I train everything, you know. I don't have a, a plain fight. But I think uh, Jessica Aguilar, she has the same game than, than Carla Esparza. Uh, the only difference, Carla, she has a better wrestling, you know. And she has a good jiu-jitsu, but I think Agla has uh, is a black belt, you know. So I think uh, the Carlos pa um, Jessica Agla jiu-jitsu is a little bit better. So I think it's it's, it's the same fight, it's the same plane fight. And you know, you you always make a plane, but when you get there, <laughs> everything is different. So you have to train everything. Ah, for sure. Now, <clears throat> uh, Carla hasn't fought in a year. She, uh, she was the uh, inaugural champion. She faced uh, Joanna Young Jacek, and that wasn't a good fight for her at all. Um, did you yourself, did you watch the fight? Yes. W what did you take from it? Yeah, Joanna, she's pretty good. My first fight in UFC, I fight with Joanna. I fought with Joanna, and like she's pretty good. That, that's why she's the champ, right? So, yeah. Was an ugly fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. it. Yeah, and it was. But um, what do you think when someone they take a, a year off? Um, do you believe in ring rust or cage rust? Yeah, but you know, Carla, she was Invicta champ. You know, I respect her a lot. She she was UFC champ, so I'm expecting a tough fight. You know, right. whatever if she stay one year. You know, I'm expect yeah. a, a tough fight, and I will give her a tough fight too. Oh, I, I've seen, <laughs> I, I've watched your fights, and I, I've seen your training, and, and I definitely expect you to go out there and, and give her a tough fight. Now, her coming in, um, she's obviously limited with her striking. Um, your striking is far superior than hers. Do you feel that um, in, in a year's time, even though she took that time off? Do you feel that a fighter can, you know, get his, get that much better um, in one aspect of the game? Or do you feel it takes a little bit longer than a year? Yeah, I think take a little bit longer. I think, like, you have a style, you always going to do that style, you know. You can train more, you can uh, improve more, but when you, got there, when you get there in the cage, you always going to do what you feel more comfortable. So... No, I, I agree. <laughs> uh, now, we have it, a lot of things going on. Um, the, the headlining uh, fight on the card that you're on um, is John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Uh, are you familiar with the news going on with John Jones right now? Yeah. <laughs> he was in the jail, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, what's your take on it? Uh, well, do you have a driver? I'm just curious. Uh, yeah. Uh, see? <laughs> Look at that. Juliana has a driver. John Jones. Look, I, I saw that some friends with one of his teammates, Isaac Valley Flag, and I tweeted him yesterday, and I was just like, look, man, you need to apply to be his personal driver. Yeah. He, John Jones shouldn't be out here driving <laughs> in these streets. Um, what do you think about the card itself being that that's the headlining fight, you're on it, you have all these great fighters on the card. Uh, what, do you, what is your outlook and outtake on the, uh, on the fight? Yeah, it's, it's like, it's very, I'm very excited because it's my first fight in Las Vegas, you know, oh. and yeah, so for me it's a big deal. And it's a, it's a big event, right? Mm -hmm. John John is in Cormier. But I'm trying not thinking about it, you know? I'm, I'm focused my fight. I'm focused uh, in, in Carla Esparza in my fight. So I'm not thinking about, oh, it's a big event, <laughs> you know? Because if you get too much excited with the event, with, with Las Vegas, you don't stay focused on your goal. No, I, I agree. Um, like I mentioned before, I'm out here in, in Webster, Texas. Um, how long have you been out here? Because you, you, you've moved camps now. You Now you're out here in, in the Houston area. Uh, what was the reason for the move? Yeah, uh, I'm from Brazil, from Bre Belo Horizonte, uh, Gracie Barra Belo Horizonte. Draculino, he's the master there. Oh. Yes, so I always represent my master, Draculino. And I did my camp two times in New York at Renzo Grace. And now I'm living here. I'm next to my master, uh, Giacolino. 
he's my idol, you know. It's, I'm very excited to, to learn with him and be next to him. So uh, I, can, I can tell you I'm a different fight now, you know. Yeah. If you are watching my fights, you're going to see a different Jutai. <laughs> does it make that big of a difference? Obviously, you know, Draculina is going to come out. He's going to travel um, to, you know, help you prepare. But now that you're so close, I mean, you don't ha he doesn't have to travel to you. You can just hop in a car and come to the gym. Um, does that make a, a big difference for you in training? Yes, and like everybody think uh, Draculino is just a jiu-jitsu coach. <laughs> Nobody knows him. He is like, he, he, he knows, uh, he studied the fight, you know. He's a really head coach, MMA head coach, right. you know. So um, my jiu-jitsu is another level. I'm training wrestling with Babak mm -hmm. uh, in Gracie Barra, West Chase, West Chase. And Babak was uh, Olympic, Olympic he, he, right? Yeah, 2004 Olympics, All-America. So he is like, I'm, I'm, my wrestling was like here and now it's another level. Do you feel that um, now that you, you have the, the wrestling coaches out here, um, a lot of the female fighters have a, a strong grappling base. Do you feel that gives you an edge, especially adding your striking abilities? Yes, uh, and I still train my Muay Thai with Pedro. Mm -hmm. Pedro, he trained Valentina. Yeah. And he, he goes every time to Thailand, improve his Muay Thai, so I'm keeping training with him. I'm feeling like complete, like I'm ready, you know. I'm 123 pounds, Ooh. so I can eat some pasta Saturday. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm coming to eat some pasta. I love pasta. That's my favorite. That's why I'm fighting at 170 now instead of back at 155. I need to, I need to cut the pasta. See, I can't hang with you if I want to drop away. Um, another big story that came out not too long ago, um, Cyborg. She signed with the UFC. And she'll be fighting, I want to say, at UFC 198. And, and, right, and on the Brazilian card. Um, it, it will be at a catch weight. What do, you, do you feel that she'll ever make 135 pounds? Uh, when I fought uh, Invicta, I saw Chris Cyborg. She's really big. <laughs> I've seen Chris Cyborg, and I stood next to her, and I just was like... Yeah, she's really big. I, I, I don't know if she can. I don't know. Well, and this, this fight against Leslie Smith is at 140-pound catch weight. Um, I, I know in the past uh, people have mentioned that she's had trouble even making 145 pounds. What do you think that she's going to have to do to make 140? She have to cut the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sideboy likes I can't the eat for you. <laughs> Sideboy likes that pasta. I'm, I'm for sure. Uh, what do you think about the whole the, the card itself? You know the UFC and the Kuchiba. Um, I mean, it's a big event right now. Now you bring in Cyborg to the event. It's a big event. You know, what are your thoughts on it? Ah, gonna be amazing, right? Gonna be in a st stadium. Stadium, yeah, football. Uh, so it's gonna be big, and Verdun, uh, uh, Vitor Belfort, Anderson Silva. So they said they 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 just sell. I think they yeah they a lot. lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So gonna be a big deal. Yeah. yeah. You excited about it? You're, even though you're not on the car, are you excited about having the car there? Yeah, but it's May, right? Yeah. I need to rest a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, are, are you gonna? Do you know if you're gonna go out to the uh, fly out there and, and watch the fights? No, I'm gonna keep training here. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, this year I hope uh, do more than one fight. Last yeah, yeah. year I just did one fight. I I had an injury, so this year I wanna fight more. So I will keep training. Uh, after my fight, I will stay like one week just okay. eating some pizza and resting. But after, I will come back to train more. I, I heard when we were in there, you watched you train and you, you were talking about pizza. Well, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Oh, whatever. Hey, <laughs> simple. All <laughs> pizza. Pizza, yeah. <laughs> I love pizza. <laughs> now, uh, the fight, you, again, you're fighting Carlos Barr a former champion. Uh, you yourself... You're, you're on a two-fight winning streak. Uh, your only loss in the UFC is to the now the current champion, uh, Joanna. Do you feel a win over Carlos Barza will possibly get you a title shot? Uh, I don't think like this, you know. I think like we can go like 
okay. slow, you know. If they give me, okay, I'm happy, but I can fight more, you know, when UFC uh, think I deserve go the title shot, I go, you know. But now I'm thinking just Carla, you know, win that fight and then get another fighter tough and then, you know, going, going, and then if they want to give me the title shot, I'm ready. Now, uh, Joanna, she does have the fight coming up with, with Claudia Gadella. Um, for you, would you, just hypothetically, would you prefer the rematch against Joanna or would you like to face the new opponent and, and Claudia? Whatever. I don't, I don't, you know, who gonna get that belt? I'm ready to fight. I'm not like, ah, I prefer Johanna or I prefer Claudia. Whatever. I prefer the champ. <laughs> there you go. Juliana, thank you for taking the time out. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for my English. You know, I'm, I'm learning, but I hope you understand. <laughs> I understood everything. Look, look, I understand everything she said. No worries at all. Okay, thank go. you very much.